Hello, how you doing, family? Uh, this is Antoine here. I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of it. It's special if uh, if I solve math, you know, I like to drink a lot of water. So we have a question right here with our father, Julius. This question comes from uh, all the way. You know who was sending me all his questions? This student from uh, Mississippi and Alabama and New Orleans, Tennessee, South Africa, especially KwaZulu Natal and Limpopo. You know, also in the East Corner, students from Kenya, man, they send me a lot of questions. Kenya, Tanzania, on the West Coast of Africa, West Side, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Ghanaians, man, they send me a lot of questions. So, now let's get started. So, the question here is say, uh, inter great family. This is one of the easiest questions. Look, so what you do, race bouquet to the top. So, they say what integrate, meaning if I had to integrate, I'll say, Integral, and then here I'm going to write. Uh, let me show you something. I'll write integral and then write dx here, and then here I'll write integral dx means on left and right hand side after integrate because it's an equal sign. So I'm not going to worry about the left, I'll just focus on the right because whatever I'm going to get on the left, equal to the right. So I need to integrate what two. So I can simply check these two behind because two is constant, so I can say two must go out. So here I'm going to let you to one. 2x plus 1 and then power 4 dx so the next step okay see you see let me raise pocket to raise pocket means take everything to the top all this stuff on raise pocket to the top so i'm going to say this let me say 2 we have an integral is going to come here but whenever you raise pocket anything you see this is positive it's going to become negative so at the denominator don't worry about it you don't have to write anything this something is going to go to the top remember on top we have, we have a 1 this 1 here multiply by everything which is 2x plus 1 but you see this power is positive it's going to become negative exactly but you only change the negative and they say dx so it's like over 1 so what is 1 over 1 if somebody say let's say 3 over 1 what does that mean equal to 3 if somebody say x over 1 means equal to x so all this stuff divided by 1 equal to the same thing so I don't have to write this one, and I don't have to write this one again. Oh my God, sorry. Even this underline I'm not supposed to write. So it has to be like that. Now let's integrate. Why did I do that? Because there's a power rule of him here. It's like if somebody say integral of x negative 3 dx. So what do you do? What you do here is a power rule. You add by 1. You see this negative 3? Add by 1 because it's a power. Much of the power. That's what called integration, but power rule. So it's going to be x negative 3 plus 1. is going to be negative 2. And the same thing here underneath. See? So that's how power rule works. But let me say if somebody give you integral of x and dx is the power rule, what you do is say, take exactly, take this power plus one and then over the same thing in the denominator, which is n plus one. And then we plus constant because we don't have a limit. But if you have a limit, we don't have to write this con constant. Now let's come in and play the same game. So now we're gonna say now we have a two here. Now, what you have to do, you see, you see here, there's a 2x plus 1. Take everything here, differentiate in that answer right the, under this. So when you differentiate 2x plus 1, it's going to give us 2. And then what we do, this all is a power rule. So we're going to write exactly, which is 2x plus 1, and then negative 4 plus 1 equal to negative 3. And the same thing you must write at the denominator, negative 3. So plus constant because we don't have a limit here so and then we're going to say this and this is going to cancel it's going to be one you understand that and then now we have a negative here we have a negative so then we're going to say uh same as say uh equal to okay look so we left you it okay so okay let me write from here so we can have enough space here. so here we left you thought with 2x plus one negative 3 over negative 3 but look this may say i can reciprocate everything to the bottom because it's negative and i'm done integrating when you integrate you don't write that snake you see this snake kind of disappear the moment we do that actually no snake no more integral means it disappear so then this is going to become let's reciprocate to the bottom so this is going to become one over we still have a negative three at the bottom and then write exactly to the bottom which is going to be two x plus 1 but remember when you go to the bottom is will reciprocate the good mathematical term this negative right it's going to become positive and then you plus your constant and if you come in the option 
Oh man, okay, this is the answer. Option, option two. Of course, yeah, oh yes. Now, so we're done with this question, we'll go to the next question. But before we go to the next question, no, 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 let's go to the next question, let's go. So we have this another question. But before we go to the next question, family, right? If you're new to this program, right, please uh, just come and subscribe here because very, very important so that every time you receive my notification automatically, okay? So don't miss the thing right here. See where there's a finger? Click it. Now let's go to the next question. So the next question they say, uh, integrate, but this is called integration by substitution. What do I mean? Look, you see this one? What is in here? I'm gonna let. So let. Let's say u equal to that one, which is 1 plus 2x or 2x squared. So, family, look, this type of question, you must know the basic integral, which I'm showing you now. So, differentiate on the left, you differentiate on the right. You differentiate here, it's going to become du. Equal, when you differentiate 1, 1 is constant, it's going to become 0. Now, let's differentiate this. How we differentiate this? Take 2, multiply by 2 is going to give us 4. Now write your x and then 2 minus 1 equal to 1. So it's like power 1. But on the right to differentiate x. So here you must give its respect. So like, hey, take respect. dx means give respect to dy. du means give respect to u. Okay? So we're going to say u equal to 4x dx. But if you can look carefully here, look, let me rearrange this question. Because you know what? Look. Let me use the color here. Look. I got this. x dx, which is this and that oh so for that case this question is going to become let me take the three behind because i just need x dx okay let me start from here first what is x dx means i have to divide by four divided by four on the left so i can be left with the x and dx the divided by four divided by four is going to be du equal over four equal to x dx means i divided by four here and then i divided by four in another one sorry 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 okay means divided by 4 here, divided by 4 there, okay? So, x dx equal to the u4. And you can see this is the x of this dx. So, let's rearrange this question. So, we're going to say that same say Let's write 3 behind. And then we'll be left with what with? x dx. So, and then this, oh, look. Square root. All of this will let equal to u. So, we're going to say, oh, this stuff is going to become u because we did let. And what is 3 to 1 to the back? And what is x dx? x dx equal to du over 4, so it's like du over 4, but you can simplify further, so this time we say 3, I'll take 4 to the behind because it's constant, and then we have inequal, but what is the square root of u, square root of u is what you have, because you know why I do that, because I want to do what power, root, so what we're going to do now, let's do power root, because it's power, so I'm going to say 3 over 4, we add 1, so means the integral is going to be half plus 1 equal to 3 over u is going to become 3 over 2 because we must plus 1 and the same thing we got here we must write at the denominator which is what 3 over 2 see and these are 3 here so it was there which is this one okay so what we're going to do now we can simply simplify look by 3 1 by 3 1 we can put all this in the calculator by 2 1 how many 24 2, 2 oh so then we're going to say we have u okay u what 3 over 2 and then we have what only two are the denominator. But this same is say right and look. If somebody say u, 3 over 2, what does that mean? It's like a u, a half, times 3. See, u, half, times 3 equal to, same as this one. So I can rewrite and say, let's say u, a half, times by 3, and then we all by 2. By the value of u, I know. Oh, I can simply say, what is u, a half? u, a half, the reason for this, because I know this can be square root. So you have meaning square root. So let me say, oh, you have mean square root of u. And then you have a two the denominator. And then power three, because this power three. And this semi say, we know the value of u. What the value of u? See? The value of u, no. The value of u equal to one plus two x squared. So it's going to be one plus two x squared. Okay? And then we say, oh, all of this. See? Power, power 3. Because power 3. Plus constant. But don't forget your two other denominator. So you come in option. I'm thinking I'm done with the y plus constant because there's no limit. Let's come in and check some option now. See which is the correct answer. Among this 
for answers. So if you can look carefully and open your eyes and clear, and then we're going to see, let's look together, okay? This one is wrong because we don't have part three. Mm, this is true. There's no two, no true. There's this I've got over one of half, so the answer is this one. See? This one here too. Okay. So this is gonna be our final answer. Of your number three. It's the final answer. So this is how you do this question, fam. So like I say, if you're new to this program, please come right here, subscribe, show me some love. Okay, show me some love so I can do more questions. Hey, my beautiful sister from Kuzul Natal was sending this question. You know, in Deb and Natal. No, it's not Deb and I'll be lying. She's from Samoa. See, Lady Smith, another part of Kuzul Natal. Did you know Kuzul Natal, South Africa is very big. So thanks a lot for your time. And brother and sister from Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana. Peace. I'll see you soon. I'm out.